Good morning, my beautiful people. So I'm taking the back seat today because fuck that, somebody else could drive. I'm just kidding. But um, I was gonna make a video for you guys while I was in California. And um, everything that I had planned like just didn't go the way that I thought it was gonna go. So um, I'll throw in some clips right here. So I am heading home for the holidays and I thought that I'd take you guys along with me. Me and Lady, my puppy. You gonna travel with us today? Got a lot of stuff and I usually don't travel with that much stuff. So I'm kind of anxious. And Gary down the street is gonna take me to go get a rental car so I can drive to the airport. But hopefully we can get some food. And not have too much turbulence. So, the old Dipion. <laughs> I know you're a little con artist, Blaze. It's a nice little ride inside, huh? Hey, you know, it's a Mercedes. Yeah. I mean, what can you say? <laughs> Even an old junky Mercedes is a nice ride. Yeah. I couldn't take it on a bus. So I was thinking I would get a shuttle, but they never answered my call. I called them all week last week, and then I was just like, you know what, fuck it. Rent a car and drop well, it I off. Oh, they got these buses that go to bring the workers down here. Yeah. Yeah, I got two check bags and a carry on, and then two backpacks on a dog. So I was <laughs> like, you know what? <laughs> I got a bit of an upgrade. I'll move you guys in a second. So I got a bit of an upgrade, but there's a little catch. It has a battery problem. <laughs> So he's giving me this whole spiel. Hey, we gave you an upgrade. You don't have to pay for gas. But if the car dies, you just got to give it a little jump. It's no big deal. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We need a little jump to get some gas and some food, maybe. <laughs> that would be my luck, huh? All right. We're going to go to the house. I got to go to the post office, drop off some stuff. I ordered a bunch of things that uh, were supposed to go to my mom's house for Christmas. And some of them went there and some of them got sent here. So I gotta go make sure that nothing got, uh, got sent here on accident before I leave. Everything else that ends up being here is, it is what it is. But we'll go to the post office, we'll go load up the car and uh, then we'll head out. It's a nice little ride. I'm, I'm grateful because I've been trying to tell myself that everything's gonna work out, everything's gonna be okay. And you know what? When you think like that, you do as much as you can for everything to go okay and don't try too hard. You know, things can tend to work out how they are gonna work out, I guess. So let's go, let's go get the stink pack up all the stuff, and then we'll go have some fun. So I landed, everything's cool, everything's nice. Um, today I'm going to drive to Pacific Grove because that's probably one of my favorite places other than like Carmel is pretty cool. Um, I just want to be by the, the water for, for a day. Cause traveling, like traveling stressful as it is, but traveling like being trans is so hard because you don't know like how people are gonna take you and like if sometimes like your your 
identification cards and your like your debit cards and things like that don't mix and match then um, you get some get some angry people or just like a lot of complications like today I booked and prepaid for a rental car and my credit card doesn't have the same name as my driver's license does because I changed my driver's license recently and I didn't want to go and like change and wait for a new um, a new credit card before because I didn't want them to deactivate the one that I have and me not have any money so I am waiting because I know what you guys are going to say you should just change it not it's not that hard I know it's not that hard it's just like how often do you think about like the name that is on your debit card I don't I'm like I just need a fucking Red Bull but <laughs> um, they wouldn't let me pick up the car and I had to maneuver my way through <clears throat> because in Florida they just let me have it they did give me some trouble about it but they still let me take it here they didn't want to give it to me at all so I had some maneuvering to do and finagling but I have a car and we're gonna go we're gonna go have fun we're gonna go get some nice food and go by the beach for a little bit because I'm done So I finally made it to my hotel room in Pacific Grove. I've stayed here before and it's kind of similar, but they upgraded me and gave me like the cool little fireplace and a bigger bed. So we'll stay here today and then my mom's gonna pick me up and we're gonna go play in the snow, go do something. I don't know, I feel like this trip is going exactly how it needs to go, regardless of the mishaps that have happened, like with my car and everything like that. It's exactly the way that it needs to be. Um, I got an upgrade on my room, I got an upgrade on my first car. And then the lady at Starbucks, like, messed up on my order and gave me a bigger, bigger drink. Just, alright you guys, I hope that you have a beautiful night, and uh... We'll see what kind of trouble we can get into tomorrow, okay? Everything that I wanted to do, I didn't really get to do. And it kind of just made me think about like 
why I left and why I am so pressed to make sure that like if you are transitioning like personally I think that it's important for you to move and like basically just expand but it's so much easier to transition and then move and live kind of like a stealthy life being transgender um, not that I lie and deceive and hide from people but it's just so much easier to go to the grocery store and people will be like here you go sir like instead of people that have known you your whole life or have um, like know your story I share my story and I'm open about it and I really don't care but uh, like being in in your hometown I realized how I'm triggered a lot more when I'm there. Not that I don't love being around my family and everything like that, but I'm definitely way more triggered being in my hometown than I initially realized that it was. So like, you know the awkward moment when somebody like accidentally misgenders you, but not on purpose. They do it to like their kids or like they call you a different name because they're thinking about somebody else or their brain is just so frazzled. Usually that's like easily passable when it's just like, I get it. But the awkwardness that people feel when they do that on accident towards me is so like deafening, if that makes sense. Like it's not that big of a deal. And I know that you're not misgendering me but your awkwardness because you feel bad that you just slipped up is deafening to me. <laughs> but, um, <clears throat> I don't know. I think that, like, so last year I planned a New Year's resolution, which I don't really do. I don't, like, write it down. But last year I did, and it mainly just had to do with, like, a lot of boat stuff because I had a lot of things to do on the boat. And I, right now... I only have probably four major projects and those can be done fairly easy. Um, so those are probably the four that are going on my list. But I like to do like a three month plan instead of like a whole year of trying to do stuff. I think three months is enough time for you to get some things done that you want done and to implement like new routines and like just like start bettering yourself and then you could check three months in like yeah I'm doing what I said I wanted to do and now you can like change your goals or you can continue doing what you're doing and just better it or be like yeah no that's really not gonna work this year because of this this and this and then work to get better in the future of what you're trying to do I don't know but I do miss California. I like California and there's a lot of things that like, <laughs> I love the beaches in California. I think that's the one thing that makes me happy. I know that like, n I'm in South Florida. I know that like North Florida has different um, temperatures and things like that. But like the cold, I'm gonna wear a hoodie and go have a bonfire on the beach is something that I miss about California. But, um, I, th I think that, like, with everything that's happening in my life, like, the world is telling me that I need to be here right now, which is fine, and I'm okay with that. Like, last year, I was not okay with it. I was kind of, a, I was a little bitter about it, just because it's so freaking hot, and I'm not about it sometimes. I'm a, I'm a hoodie, I'm a hoodie guy. But, um, there was a lot of <clears throat> issues that I had in California, though, with my... So I have fully transitioned legally. So like I have my birth certificate, my driver's license, my social security card. I just got my my passport back. All in my in my legal new name. And the only thing that I haven't changed was my credit cards and my debit cards. Mainly because I had finally gotten everything done and I didn't want to I didn't want to transfer it and then go to California and not have like a credit card or a debit card to use because that would be kind of dumb. <clears throat> this girl like rudely denied me a, a rental car 
mainly because I had paid online. I had rented it, I paid it online, and I was an hour late to pick it up because I had some other things that I was trying to do. But I've, in my head, if you pay for something, I paid for it from 10 o'clock in the morning until five o'clock in the afternoon, paid in full online. So in my head, I was like, why does it matter what time I pick it up? Because um, I paid for it anyways. It should just be sitting there, but regardless of if I come and pick it up or if I never pick it up at all. Um, but I was an hour late and then she went on lunch for like an hour and a half. She was supposed to be gone for like an hour, but she was gone for like an hour and a half. So technically, I guess like if you're not there in two hours, they can like cancel your stuff or something. But I was there in an hour and she was on lunch, so it's not my fault. But she was so rude. Like I've never met somebody so rude. Like, <laughs> it's not your car, just give it to me. <laughs> but there was a lot of issues with, um, I don't really get a lot of issues when I go to like hotels and things like that. Cause I just tell them like, I'm going through name changes with me. But I had just changed my license to have my L new legal name on it and my credit card doesn't have my new legal name on it so they couldn't rent me a car so I had to take like um I had to they finally finally let me do it but it took like three hours for them to give it to me when I got to San Francisco um, which they weren't gonna give it to me I don't know why they gave it to me but they did this other guy he was able to work around it and give it to me and then when i got back to miami they would not give it to me at all which is no which is weird because i had no problem like getting a car here and renting it and driving it up to miami so but i finally called and got that changed so i will have all of my my legal stuff worked out finally which is a relief like that was the biggest part which I mean it should have been probably one of the first things that I did but I didn't legal stuff makes me anxious or just like annoyed with it especially because I had to do everything like three times but um, so finally it's almost done and then I won't have any problems with it and my passport's done uh, I don't know I love you guys and I'm excited for like this new year and what it's gonna bring and the things that um, the things that are gonna happen. I think that there's some good things that could happen. We'll see. So I love you guys. I think I'm gonna start sitting in the back seat more. I feel I feel cool. I feel like I could like put my feet up, and chill a little bit. <laughs> Uh, let me know what is one of your new year's resolutions what you guys are um, trying to implement your routines this year what's a goal that you have give me something tell me something and uh i love you guys i hope that you have a beautiful day and i'll talk to you later bye